FAMILY AND FRIENDS OF TWO MEN KILLED IN THE SEPTEMBER CRASH ARE STILL GRIEVING THAT LOSS. BUT TONIGHT, THEY KNOW THE MAN WHO CAUSED THE WRECK IS ON HIS WAY TO PRISON. FIRST NEWS SENIOR REPORTER JERRY RICCIUTI TELLS US MORE. AS GREGORY BARNHART SAT IN COURT THIS MORNING STARING STRAIGHT AHEAD, FAMILY MEMBERS OF HIS VICTIMS CAME FORWARD ONE BY ONE TO SPEAK WITH THE JUDGE. CAN'T IMAGINE WHAT THESE GOOD FOLKS HAVE BEEN PUT THROUGH BY WHAT OCCURRED IN THIS CASE. Prosecutors have said Barnhart was high on drugs when the truck he was driving slammed into a van along Route 534 in Milton Township September 28th. Brad Ronsi, a passenger in the van, was killed instantly just weeks before he was supposed to get married and start a new job. I hadn't planned on spending my life with this man, having children with this man, um, buying a house and living our lives together, and he completely ripped that away from us. The van's driver, Bill Mounts, died later that day at the hospital. It just changed me forever. It changes who you are, and it's changed my family and um, Bradley's family, too. Ironically, Barnhart had been released from prison on a drug and weapons conviction just six weeks before the crash and was involved in another accident two weeks later. In court this morning, he was given a 12 to 15 year sentence, sparing family members from sitting through a trial. Yeah, it's a little easier that it's over and said done now. So now we can start healing the right way because it's been pretty tough. We wanted it done and over with. Um, today was that chance, but it just doesn't feel any different. It doesn't bring my son back. As part of his sentence, Barnhart is losing his driving privileges for life. He may also face additional prison time for violating probation from the earlier drug conviction. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.